Black Mesa is a worthy remake, I think. Sure, it might have some differences from Half-Life that might make it a little less favorable with the absolute diehard fans, but I still think it's an amazing experience that all Half-Life fans should experience once. It had started development as a mod way back in 2005 and a bunch of Valve fans were severely disappointed by Half-Life Source. Unfortunately, just a year later in May of 2006, an alpha build of the mod was leaked by someone and put on the internet. Now, video game leaks is something that's been happening as long as the internet has existed and will continue to happen as long as curious or malevolent people exist. I personally do not condone someone going out of their way to leak someone's hard work like this prematurely, but once it's out and 17 years pass by, I don't think it'll do much harm for me to talk about it on my channel. So like I said in a previous video, I'm very much interested in seeing how things looked during development and how they changed. So let's take a look at the 2006 Alpha 6 leak of Black Mesa, which was known as Black Mesa Source at the time. Starting off, we have the Anomalous Materials chapter crammed into one big map. Now the thing you'll notice is that these early builds of the maps are quite similar to the retail counterparts, yet there are still minor differences in some places. And for a map from 2006, even at this stage, it ain't half bad. At least the layout part of it all because there's not a whole lot of props or details here. Compared to the mods of the time, this was one hell of an undertaking. Imagine, it's just two years since Half-Life 2 came out, literally everyone apart from Valve themselves were new to the Source engine and the accompanied Hammer editor. Sure, Worldcraft existed, but still. Yet the folks at Black Mesa Source team were able to create all this within the Source engine. So the anti-mass spectrometer is here, but it seems like it's not textured right now. That'll be different in this next map. This map here is the test chamber with the fully modeled and textured anti-mass spectrometer within it. The first half of the sequence is here where the machine turns on and you push the sample into it, but that's pretty much it for it. Next up is the office complex which was quite an eyesore to look at because of the missing textures and models. One thing I always admired about Black Mesa is how greatly it expanded upon its source material, where in the original game these were a bunch of hallways with some rooms, this game was able to breathe life into the facility and show it in a realistic fashion what it would look like in a more, I guess, modern fashion. Next is the We've Got Hostiles map. Now, the same thing I was talking about earlier applies here. The layout for these maps is almost the same as the original game, 90% I guess, but the added sections and the expanded layouts make it much more realistic looking, like a proper research facility. This is the surface section of the We've Got Hostiles chapter. In this one, I got heavy Half-Life 2 wives and Nova Prospect wives, but that's mostly because of the placeholder Half-Life 2 textures and skybox. Also, there were these extra rooms to go into, but I'm not sure if this was in the retail game or not. These empty halls sure do give a strange feeling on a strange feeling on a strange feeling on a strange feeling. <laughs> Then we have the Hydro Plant from Surface Tension and I was surprised to see that much of this map was carried over and is still used in the final game. Like, I don't think they scrapped this one and remade it, they just improved the original to a point where it looks really good. Here's the Forget About Freeman map, again it's devoid of any NPCs or enemies but most of the detail work is done. Continuing on with Forget About Freeman, here's that big field that they added where one of my favorite music track plays in the retail game. It makes you feel like an absolute badass. Here's a map of the Lambda Core Teleporter. It's missing a lot of its models, I guess, but still looks pretty menacing, even with its empty surroundings. This one's a test map, nothing too special about it, but I do like the dim bluish lighting here though. Really moody. This one is supposed to be a cave map, but I'm not entirely sure where this one would fit in the game. And of course, the first map in the game. This is where the tram ride starts in Black Mesa. 
It's funny how you can see Kleiner being everywhere used as a placeholder because there weren't any models modeled yet for the game. Here's a map of the Blast Pit chapter, again almost 90% same as the final game, lots of missing textures and models in some areas though. And here's a map that shows the entrance to the Lambda Complex, with its gigantic lift and the storage bay. The next map is a fixed version of this one. Again, for a project that was in development for one year at this point, they sure had quite a bit of work done. It's all pretty cool looking, but there's this one part in the map that just gives me strange vibes. Then we have a remake of the Crossfire multiplayer map and it even has that nuke button as well. Next is two versions of Gasworks. This one's the untextured one. And here's the textured one, or at least the less ice training one. And lastly, here's that Lambda Complex teleporter, but I think this one is an earlier version of that map. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I think these are important bits of Half-Life history. No matter how much we try to push it under the rug, we have to accept the fact unfortunate events like these leaks happened. Sure, at the time, I too would have been heartbroken to know this had happened to this mod, but almost two decades later, I think it's quite interesting. Looking at these unfinished maps and seeing how they evolved into the game we know today. I've also seen some photos and videos from 2012 and I don't know if that was the game's first release or was it another leak. I haven't looked much into that one. But anyway, thanks for watching and a big thanks to these benefactors for supporting the channel. Quiltman, Unknowns98, Walter, Zick, Polly, Unusual, Taylor, Baco, Ryan W, Noclick, Geode, Fisher Grice, TTG, Lamdry, Hawkassault, Mistress Pabon, Alien Grunt, Mark Jelen, A Normal Street Lamp, TRR Droid, and Bipolit. Thanks again, and see you in the next one.